Delivery men women on Reddit, what are some of the weirdest situations you experienced while delivering packages to people's homes? I'm not a delivery girl but I once fainted while signing for a package. When I got back to myself my package was on the floor and the delivery man was gone. He must have been really shocked but at least he closed the door when he left. My husband used to deliver pizza, he's had 3 instances. The first was one night, he knocks on the door, the door gets thrown open and he gets doused with a fire extinguisher. The second was another night, he knocked on the door and gives the guy his pizza. He turned around to see some naked chicks sitting in the driver's seat of his car asking him as he wanted a ride. Turns out the chick had been doing some sort of drug and the people in the house has to physically pull her out of the car cause she didn't want to get out. The third was one night he knocks on the door and it gets answered by this guy in shorty shorts. My husband was asked if he wanted to be famous. They were making a movie called Five Guys and a Pool Cue and needed a fifth guy. There have been many more weird situations for husband as well. I work and live overseas, in a country where getting weed is very much illegal, very expensive, and very low quality. Therefore I don't smoke weed in said country. But when I go stateside I always smoke a bit. So I'm visiting my parents and my buddy comes over, and another buddy is supposed to join us and bring some pot. But he couldn't make it. We order pizza. Pizza comes I look at the guy and say you smoke pot don't you? Now keep in mind I'm dressed in business causal as is fairly typical for me. Khaki pants, dress shirt, dress shoes, etc. He gets all nervous and goes nah and I go look dude. I don't believe you he goes okay I smoke pot. I'm not going to jail right I'll laugh my butt off and say nah. But do you have any in your car I'd like to buy some and my dealer dropped out of me. He goes yeah I'll go get some. He runs back to his car. Grabs some weed it was quite a bit I never weighed it but it looked like plenty to me. I said how much he goes I would pay around $20 for this. So how about $25 I said I'll give you 50. You just made me a happy man. He tried to refuse. But I gave him the $50. This happened to two of my delivery guys who were bringing out some furniture to an address out in the middle of nowhere. Now to start off. Our trucks had our logo all over them so it is clear who owns them. So for this delivery the customer wanted them to meet them at a gas station since their house was hard to find. The guys get to the gas station and someone comes over to them and says he was the guy they were supposed to meet so they take off following his old white truck. Now this guy must have lived one eye out there since they said they were following this guy down a dirt road for about 20 minutes before they get a call on the company cell phone from the guy they were supposed to meet. Apparently the person they were following wasn't actually the customer and the person on the cell was wondering where they were. They honk their horn but the truck keeps on going down the dirt road so they stop and turn around. Either someone was messing with them or they almost got robbed. I worked for an ambulance company. We had 911 contracts in a few counties as well as non-emergency wheelchair transports. I was a new EMT so I started out in this position doing this for a while before they let work on the ambulances. Anyways, I worked night shift for a couple of months because it was easy and we only had 3-4 calls per 12 hour shift. I mostly got paid to sit around and read or watch next flicks and eat free food from the M's lounges at the air department. Anyways it's about 0130 and I get a discharge from the air in the crappy part of town. I don't think much of it but as I walk into the awaiting room a monstrous and horrid smell hits my nostrils. A woman of about 55 is slumped over in a wheelchair sleeping. She has a full goatee. Dreads in her hair from lack of bathing. The smell reminded me of something I between gorgonzola cheese, a pig farm and pure human crap. Taken aback I chug on with my job and load her into the wheelchair van. After we start driving she mumbles angrily and begins to smoke some pull more menthols in the back of the company van. I'm forced to pull and extort the cigarettes from her. We finally get the apartment and when I open the door I'm greeted by the most horrid smell I've ever smelled. It smells like the lady amplified by about 10. Greeting us upon entry is two shirtless old men and two more completely naked ladies in their 60 laying on the bare floor. The apartment as a whole is in a state of complete and utter disrepair. Cat crap everywhere. Food on the floor. And the smell oh god I wish I could describe the smell. Words would not do it justice. Normally we get the patient inside and settled before we leave. Not this time though. I was out of there so quick. I was 19 and honestly shocked by what I saw. I didn't know people lived like this colon. 
I delivered a Christmas gift to a Mr. and Mrs. Lee when I worked as a messenger in Los Angeles. In my sectarian mind I was expecting someone of Asian persuasion to open the door. My jaw dropped as Stan Lee bopped outside to the gate I was standing at and received his package. After signing my clipboard he pulled out a wrinkled dollar bill handed it to me with a wink and zipped back into his house. I deliver the mail. There are three stories I have, all three happened this year. 1. I was delivering a package to an apartment. I knocked on the door and heard, just a moment, from within. A man opens the door wearing nothing but a blanket. I go to hand him the package and he drops the blanket and the package. He was buck butt naked. I gfo and started a policy of leave the package knock and run. 2. On my route I have several older customers and on this day I had seen this customer out walking with his buddies having a blast by talking smack on the mailman. An hour later I was on his block and approaching his house when I see a body laying in the yard. Thinking the worst I rush to help. Only I find out it is just old man to drunk talk. He begs for me to help him to his porch and I assist. After 15 minutes of trying to help him stand up. He is finally propped up and as we take the first step. And his pants fall down. And of course free balling dong again. 3. It's a cold day. Lots of snow. And lots of mail to deliver. I placed the mail inside the mailbox but with the wind and wearing gloves not very well. After retrieving the mail that didn't make it in the first attempt. I was placing the mail again into the box when the front door opened. There stood a beautiful 19 year old wearing only Uggs. Lace panties. A see through spaghetti top and an unbuttoned flannel men's shirt. We locked eyes and she said sorry but she thought I was an intruder. That was the best part of my year. TL. DR. Dong slopping everywhere. And a hall of fame spank bank win. Used to deliver chicken wings in a college town. Cringe just thinking back to it. I'm female. And at the time I was 21 or 22. My boss always sent me on the deliveries to the back roads middle of nowhere places in the middle of the night with no street lights. So I'm pulling up to this one story house with a large bay window in the front. I stop in front of the window to use the lights to check the total on the receipt. As I look into the window, there's a morbidly obese woman with thick framed glasses sitting in a recliner staring back at me so stoically. Her boobs cascaded down her fat rolls like a red carpet. I stood in shock for a second before this leathery looking twig of a man comes outside and pays for his wings. I then scurry off into the night, never to return again. Used to deliver packages in the Netherlands. We drove around in 6.5 meters long vines, which is quite humongous for a car here. While driving backwards, accidentally hit someone's parked car, ran out mumbling oh crap oh crap oh crap, checking out the damage. An elderly woman saw it all, and said to me just go, the guy's a drinking bastard anyway, and so I drove away. Obligatory not me but my, then, boyfriend. I can verify as I'd sometimes accompany him on his deliveries and saw this first hand. My boyfriend used to deliver pizzas for a crappy chain pizza place while doing the whole university gig and every Thursday night they'd get a delivery for a deep pan pizza. No sauce, no cheese, no other topping other than onion and mushroom. I kid you not, it was literally just dough with some dry onion and mushroom baked onto it. They never ordered any sides or drinks or any other pizzas. I say they as whoever ordered the pizza sent direct instructions, via the website, to leave the pizza on the doorstep and that the money, always exact change, would be in the letterbox. They never phoned in their order, they left their name as a, Smith or something else equally unidentifiable as to the orderer's name age gender. We used to stake out the place after delivering the pizza, I call it that in the loosest of terms, and all you'd see is a hand emerge from a crack in the door that would whisk away the weirdo concoction. My boyfriend graduated uni and we moved on with our lives but we still have no idea the story behind the no sauce, no cheese, deep pan. Onion and mushroom pizza and the mysterious unknown hand that would quickly retrieve it from behind the darkened door held barely open. I used to deliver new and used furniture and one time my workmat and I delivered a second hand mattress to a woman. She was VD scabs all over her face. Her house was disgusting and she tried to get us to stay shivers. Comcast guy came to set up the internet at my house. My parents dog came over got in his lap and emptied his bladder right on the Comcast worker's lap. 
he finished the job and pretended nothing ever happened, didn't even mention it, just put the dog down and kept working then left. Comma just put the dog down. That's pretty drastic. I was delivering a pizza to a rather nice looking house, walked up and rang the doorbell, and to my surprise a bikini clad brunette answered the door, only other things she had on were rope tying her hands in front of her and a ball gag in her mouth. She quickly took the pizza from a very surprised me and gave me the money before shutting the door pretty fast. I was on a ride along after a driver had an accident. We would ride with them and observe the way they drive. This guy was a safe driver but he clipped a mailbox. First accident in years of driving. After a few hours of observation I was ready to get back to the office so I started helping with the deliveries. The first stop I get to the driver tells me the homeowner wants the packages delivered to the shed in the back when he's not home. He said it's Tuesday so he won't be home. I go to the back like the driver says and I drop the packages off. I turn around and can see in the dining room bay window, there's a 50 year old guy standing there butt butt naked drinking his morning coffee. He notices me and quickly sets his coffee on the table and scampers off out of view. I start heading back to the truck in disbelief, when I look in the truck seeing the driver laughing his butt off. Apparently he knew exactly what would happen. You see the guy works from home on Tuesdays and Thursdays, naked, and the driver from years of experience on the route knew this. Delivered a pizza one time in the low income housing side of town. Knock on the door and it flies open and a guy jumps out from behind it and yells I'm naked. Psych I'm just kidding. What's up man only he actually was naked though, and just handled the rest of the transaction like he had clothes on. It was weird. I used to deliver pizza 7 years ago and one time I encountered a very strange situation. It's about 8pm on a Friday night, so as usual, business is booming and it gets really busy around that time. Orders coming in almost every 4 minutes so I get my order and get ready to deliver it. Pack up the pizza and I'm on my way to am address about 8 minutes away from our workplace. I arrive to my destination and notice a small posted that just has an arrow pointing to the right and a very horribly drawn pizza slice next to it, 4 year old drawing skill fairly obvious. So I follow the arrow, I go to the right side of the house and again, another poster with another arrow pointing right followed by a poorly drawn pizza slice. At this point I'm a bit curious about what the heck's up with the blues clues around the house. So I follow the arrow once more. Finally, I get to the back of the house. Very nice backyard with a very nice built in pool and water slides. Massive bar and grill area, this house is amazing and very expensive. I look around for some more treasure map post-it notes and I can't see them on the wall but I find one on the floor pointing inside of the house. What I saw that day has and will forever haunt me for the rest of my life. I look at the post-it, and I slowly look to the direction indicated by the arrow. I start gazing through a double glass door set and inside the house are three men completely in the nude, wearing nothing but cowboy hats and gun holsters with water guns in them. Drinking wine, lots of wine and sniffing lines on a table by their kitchen. They weren't even laughing or talking. No music, just silence and the sound of noses snorting sea. Next to the sea mountains was a 300 pound woman dressed in a clown suit with her shirt ripped in the breast section and sea all over her face and a can of Miller Lite on both her hands. I have never been so shocked, confused, and scared in my whole life. I see yet again another post-it next to the sea, and it just has three dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign signs on them alongside, yes, the horribly drawn pizza. I simply place the pizza on the kitchen counter, take the money, and leave. Found out later that the owner of the house was a normal dude with a good job and had gone through a divorce and lost custody of his two children. Kinda lost it and didn't care anymore. He's in prison now for minutes 20 years of illegal drug possession or whatever it's called. I worked at a hotel in Austin in the mid 90s as a valet. I was working graveyard and front asked if I could take a luggage cart up to a room because the bell staff was busy or on break or something. When I knocked at the room, Heather Locklear opened the door and pointed to her pile of bags and told me to just leave the cart and she would call down when she had loaded it up. She was wearing a robe and it wasn't tied and she was only wearing a bra underneath. No panties, just a bra. At first I was all excited thinking she was trying to make my day and playing a game. Then I realized that she didn't do it on purpose. It just didn't occur to her to cover up because I was less than nobody. TL. DR. 
Heather Locklear answers door weirdly half naked, but only because I didn't count as a person. I'm a courier in Vancouver, BC. I was sent to an area in West Van I've never delivered to before, searching for an address in a pretty upscale neighborhood. I followed my Apple Maps, hold your own that's why, to a small dead end street. The houses on the street had no addresses posted and were pretty well concealed. When I reached the end, I realized that I was in the wrong place and needed to turn around. Unfortunately for me, there was no space for my large courier van to turn around, so I simply backed up to the nearest house's driveway to do a three point turn and head out. I noticed, backing in, that the house had a Ferrari parked in the driveway and several black Mercedes without license plates further in. It was odd to me because the house seemed very middle class, it was no mansion whatsoever, and standing before the house's large plate window was a man holding his iPhone up, recording me. He seemed to be yelling something at me behind the window and went as far as to flip me the bird. I had no idea what he was so upset about. By the time I had finally gotten turned around and was pulling out, the man appeared to be intensely screaming at me from behind the glass. So I got out of the truck and walked back onto his property to see what was the matter. He saw me walking his way and jolted out the front door, red as ever, to confront me. I asked him what the problem was and why he was video recording me. He flipped his lid yelling that I was on private property and that I was trespassing and that I had no right to be there. I explained that I simply just needed to get turned around. He nonsensically blabbered and pointed his iPhone at me, even as I told him I was leaving and wouldn't bother him again. Besides the erratic behavior, the shape of his piece in the back of his pants and the poorly concealed flower bricks out in his open cup or told me I had better just leave, and quick. TLDR. I may have stumbled across a drug kingpin's home. I delivered food for a third party delivery company, mostly to broke about college kids. I was delivering something to a house and when I rang the bell, the door opened and it was dark inside. It opened more and I could see a laptop on the stairs, open, facing me and recording. First thought was oh frick, I'm about to be in some sort of snuff film. I backed away about 5 or 6 feet. Put the food down and balled up my fists. This dude runs out wearing a wrestling singlet and some sort of scary looking mask, trying to scare me. But he stopped when he saw I was about to cold dong him. He took off his mask and mumbled some crap awkwardly and I handed him the food and walked away. I probably had 5 inches and 40 pounds on this guy so I don't know what he thought would happen. Worst part was that he only tipped me like $1.50. I used to do catering for a well-known chain. The weirdest was a ladies only pleasure party. They drink wine, talk dirty, and buy corn cobs from the hostess. I'm not shy so it didn't bother me, but I knew some of the attendees and they were mortified when they saw me because they are mostly trophy wives on the posh end of town. Been delivering pizza on and off for years. Took an order to a guy in a really nice house on the outskirts of town. I rang the doorbell and heard it's open just bring it inside. This wasn't terribly strange so I do so and see a guy in a wheelchair. I get these deliveries often so I walk in and ask the gentleman where would you like me to put this he calmly replies just set it on my lap. The guy didn't have any legs. I froze. He laughed. I laughed. Gave me a great tip. I delivered pizza and subs for about 4 years and had a good amount of funny things happen. The best one was a couple bros were fighting outside a frat house as I was driving by and one of them threw the other out in the street about 5 feet in front of my car. I stopped, got out of my car and the fellow on the sidewalk ran up to my vehicle and tried to shove it over. He proceeded to flip me off and ran away. On the same street but in front of another frat house I was pulling up to a red light and had about 60 naked frat bros run in front and behind my car but naked over to the sorority house across the street. Apparently this is something they do every year as the girls were outside waiting. As the flock of naked bros came back across the street one tried to dukes of hazard slide over my hood but his butt check got stuck and fell face first onto the road. I've also seen probably 6 or 7 boobs, been smoked down, given beers, played beer pong etc. It was fun delivering late night in a big college town. Here's one of a delivery man comma me. Guy calls from the lobby phone and says, Hi this is DHL. I have a small package. Laughed a solid 10 seconds. Calmed myself down. Went and picked up the box and made zero eye contact. 
delivered pizza for a small mom and pop shop down in San Diego for a couple of years. Received an order for a couple of large pizza, some wings, and a 2 liter soda. Upon arrival, it turns out the address was a gated community. Pretty common in the SD area. No biggie. What does the special delivery instruction say on the receipt? Should be a gate code or something. Nope. Nothing. Perhaps a phone number to call? Nope. Keep in mind, if we don't ask for the customer's phone number on a order, our manager will get made at us. And upon calling the store back to ask my buddy what the number was that the guy called on, he told me that the number was blocked and there was no way to get in contact with him. So being the cool co-worker I am, I decided to be a hero and climb the gate and drive of the pizza by any means necessary to avoid getting my friend in trouble. Keep in mind, I'm not of the athletic type, and I am a rather portly fellow. So here I am, by the miracles of the gods, able to swing my leg over and avoid impaling my nuts on the top of this 6 foot spiked gate. At this point I am straddling the gate with the pizza bag and other sides and drinks in one hand, as if I'm Indiana Jones holding up that German chick from falling in between the fissure at the end of the holy grail. Then I hear what I most feared, a car rolling up. And what does this douchebag do? He doesn't get out of his car to help me, or wait for me to decide how to safely get down. No, he pressed his freaking gate open a remote, and the gate begins to slowly open. Keep in mind, the way the gate opened was that it resigned it into a narrow hole in the wall, and if I had stayed straddled on top of the fence, I would have been the piece of play how you squeeze through the pasta maker machine. In efforts to keep myself from being squished I swing the pizza bag and stuff into a nearby bush and swang my other leg over and began my descent by pushing off and in hopes I would stick the landing like a gymnast. Except my Jean leg got caught on one spikes on the top of the gate and I prematurely pushed off, causing the backside of my jeans to rip off all the weight of my butt. So here I am, in my newly turned into assless Jean chaps, and what does the driver say as he drives by? Whoa. Dude, you got to be more careful needless to say I never attempted to climb another fence again. My dad used to deliver figurines from his business. He showed up to a house one day to find mannequins set up all over in lifelike scenes. Needless to say, he got out of there as quickly as possible. The two that stand out the most for me is the guy who told me he had AIDS after me knowing him for a total of maybe 2 minutes. The other one was the guy who decided it was a good idea to finish jerking its in his living room while I was standing in the kitchen of his one bedroom apartment, delivered appliances. When I delivered pizza, I legit turned up to this guy's place who was around my age, 20. The security door was locked but the main door was open. I heard giggling of two girls and then saw them run topless past the door. The guy then comes to the door in briefs and bunny ears, acts all casual like it's totally normal, then grins at me as he takes the pizza and asks me if I want to come in. About two months later I bumped into the guy at a party. Turns out he's best mates with my best mate and we never known each other. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.